An impressive discovery is finally providing answers to a decades old cold case, and it's all with the help of a Myrtle Beach man. WMBF's Ashley Bowl shows us how an idea, a water toy, and some free time gave several families something they never thought they'd get. It's not uncommon to have a boogie board in the trunk of your car, especially if you live in Myrtle Beach. But Jason Serrata doesn't need his board to catch waves. He uses it to catch some important pictures and videos under the water. Obviously searching for missing people is up there on the to-do list. Serrata says that casually because he can now cross off finding three missing men from his to-do list. It all started with a few hundred dollars and an interest in sonar. I follow these um, other divers on YouTube and Facebook and uh, see what they did and I, you know, liked the, the sense of closure they provided families and I just wanted to get involved. This pond is where Serrata built and tested his sonar device. After he tested it, he then honed in on a 42 year old case in Washington, North Carolina. Police say Bill Clifton, David McMicken and Michael Norman were last seen at a bar on December 10th, 1982. They were presumed dead, but police never found their bodies. After years passed and the case went cold, Serrata decided to try something different. Then I found out about this case and I saw a body of water that these search teams weren't looking into and I figured out why it's because they can't access it with their boats. Um, that's when I decided to take my boat up there and scan it and sure enough that's where they were. Within 24 hours of launching his device, he says he found the sunken car in an eastern North Carolina creek. His device showed the decayed car was in 12 to 15 feet of water. I didn't really expect there to be anything in there. I mean, I figured that had been searched because it is a route that these guys would have taken home. Police were able to pull out the car. They confirmed remains from all three bodies. As far as I know, it had been searched, but there's this one little spot the car was in was so deep. Maybe they just assumed the whole area was the shallowest, basically 80% of that little area. More than 40 years later, their families finally have closure. There were about 18 family members there from all three men. It was pretty overwhelming, um, the uh, emotions they were going through that I was experiencing as well. Now with one success, Serrata is setting his sights back home in South Carolina on another case. He's still missing and I do plan to search on him some more. His next mission is to search for Tommy Braley, who vanished seven years ago in Sumter. Another case on the to-do list that Serrata believes will keep him quite busy. Jason says because of decay, it would be nearly impossible to just search different bodies of water for missing people. Rather, the cases that he's interested in involve a car. He also says he can't bring the device in the ocean, but it can search up to a few hundred feet of water. In Conway, Ashley Bowles, WMBF News.